So straight off the bat, there are two ways to achieve this. The first is the not so straightforward way and the second is the straightforward way. I'll cover them both because the main photo that we're talking about needs a bit of both, but I'll show you how to do the straightforward way now. All right, let's take this photo of Julia, not at all related to Innsbruck, and let's assume we want to make it wider. Select your crop tool and hit Alt or Option and extend outwards. Then select your square marquee tool and select the area that you're gonna use to extend outward. Go to Edit and Content Aware Scale, hit Shift and drag it out. And you can repeat this on the other side. Be sure not to have the subject selected. As you can see here, it does look just a little bit stretched. I think to an untrained eye, you could get away with this, but just grab your clone stamp tool and just fix it about. Now, because we had some wide space around our subject, the subject was preserved and you didn't need to do anything beyond the straightforward content away scale. Now the same can't be said about the photo that I'm making this video about. As you can see, the main subject is right there in the top right hand corner and chances are it's also going to be skewed while performing the content aware scale. Let's open this up in Photoshop. I want to extend it where the arrows are pointing, but it's very clear that the subject will be affected. So we're going to have to protect it. Quick selection tool and push select subject and see if it can do it automatically for you. And you can edit it from there. I tried my best to have the selection go slightly outside and around the main subject. Select and save the selection and give it any creative name that you desire. Unlock that crop tool and let's take this out. We're going to do upwards first. Edit content to the scale and protect your saved selection and just push down shift alt and extend it out or shift an option and extend it out. Now you need to be careful in scenarios like this. So you see that it's stretched out like that. You want to avoid that. So try catch where it starts stretching and just take it down a notch. And to just extend it further, we're going to use the straightforward content aware scale method that I showed you in the first photo. And for good measure, we'll protect our saved subject, shift and extend. Right, so it doesn't look too bad. And let's do the same thing for our right hand corner. We're going to extend the crop. Edit content aware scale protect our subject shift alt and extend it out but straight off the bat you can see that that's really distorting the subject the main subject the monument and i don't want that so we're going to try out the straightforward method again Now it's affecting the steps, but I can live with that. And as you can see, the snow has also been extended, but we can fix that. Clone stamp and fix it as you so desire. While we're at it, let's get rid of this dude and we're gonna use content aware fill for this. Select the area that you want Removed, edit, content away fill, right. Now this green space over here is the sampling area and it's gonna use this data in here to guess, to predict what is meant to go in there. And I think it's done quite an okay job. And we'll leave it at that so we can fix it with the clone stamp. Right, and I'm still not happy with the snow so I'm gonna fix that up again with the clone stamp. 
I like doing my final touch-ups in Lightroom, so let's just get it back there. And looking at this, I should have done more to the snow, but this is just an example I'm going to show you. So let's just get on with it and I'll do some editing. And that's a semi-finished photo. I'll probably touch up the snow before posting, that's if I post. But content aware scale was useful, content aware fill was useful. I hope you found this video useful and I'll catch you in the next one.